We need the Cabbage Man. Without context, that sounds really weird to just say out of nowhere. But before anything, hey guys, and welcome back to Avatar, Dawn of the New Nations. Today, you heard me right, we need the Cabbage Man. We are coming up on war. If, you, if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, pretty much the whole thing is we've been building up to a war, and well, we've got tons of NPCs to help us out, but the problem is where they live currently is they just don't have enough food. We need to actually get some food for them. So it kind of hit me. Who can I get that will be able to feed everyone, bring hope to all of our nation, and just, well, inspire people? And you guys have been begging for it, so I think it's time we actually feed our soldiers, our people, our guards with, well, probably not cabbages, but maybe potato. You know what? Actually, no, no we've, it's got to be cabbages, doesn't it? Well, lucky for us, I thought ahead and we have now got the Pam's Harvest Craft mod, meaning we can actually get cabbages. Firstly, though, I have I have no idea. I have no idea how to do it. So <laughs> it's going to be our goal today to actually figure out how to freaking get that. Wait, what? Uh, I'm out. Can't have an ally that spies on me. This is yours again. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait, that's... Oh, hold on. So wait, oh, Rin's done that. Wow. Okay. Um, right. Well, uh, we have a, we have a dragon egg. Huh. Oh my God. All right. So, wow. Even though it was complete misunderstanding and it was literally me just doing, I literally should have explained it before we set up any of the freaking NPCs. I, I remember in the video when we set up the NPCs, I should have explained it to every one of my allies. I I guess I'm just lucky Nathan and Arcanus really don't care. Ah, oh no, oh no, we're one ally down. We've got a dragon egg now though. So could I, could I win over anyone? I'm trying to think who, who's, who, no one has, no one has ice bending other than, other than Rin and Alex. Ah. Oh, Bugger. You know what though? That's Rin's lost. We are gonna be the most powerful nation in the war. So if Rin doesn't want to team up, that's fine by me. We'll just have to take Rin down first. <laughs> or actually, no, I already know who I'm going for first, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, but anyway, while we're down here, I'm thinking we might... I don't have the time for it currently, but I'm pretty sure we can actually make a pedestal. Is that a thing? I know we can make a stand that displays items, and we might put the dragon egg down here for now. And we'll kind of keep the dragon egg as like a, this isn't my dragon, but it does belong to someone. And we'll just keep it down there as like a, like we've captured it kind of thing. That That's my idea with that. But we need to do that today and get these freaking cabbage seeds. I have no idea where we're going to have to go for the cabbage seeds. So that's going to be fun to figure out. And I guess now that Rin's no longer here, let's just quickly remove this sign to completely show that we've <laughs> we've, we've lost all loyalty. I'm, I'm sta- You know what? I'm going to vent for a second. I'm, I got stabbed in the back. I got stabbed in the back. I set up those spies at everyone's base. It was nothing personal, but yet I still got stabbed in the back. At least, at least, Rin, at least Rin actually returned all the crap to me though. I'll, I'll, I'll give them, I'll give them that. <laughs> for now, we'll just do this and then do that. Podium. There we go. So, oh, yeah. Dude, that is so cool. It actually displays it. Oh, wait. Well, okay, it's an airbender. But that actually gets displayed properly. Oh, that is sick. Eventually, I'll probably build an actual... We'll do it later in this video. We'll build an actual chamber rune. And we'll we'll actually hatch the dragon. Have it in there. And then for aesthetics, we'll add chains and stuff. I know technically it's going to be my dragon. Because I would have hatched it. But we're not going to be able to use it or anything. Because I'm technically not allowed a dragon. But I want it to be there for aesthetics. So that should be fine. Now, for these cabbages... I have to go somewhere that no one would have gone to yet because I'm assuming the only way to get Pam's Craft things are to find structures that spawn with the Pam's Craft items. I think. That, that is my assumption. So we've got to go somewhere that no one has explored. And my best bet, in all honesty, is probably just out this way because it doesn't look like anyone's gone there. So I'm going to probably just start heading that way and hopefully we might be able to find something. I, I doubt it though. I, I just want to find some goddamn cabbages so we can set up the freaking cabbage merchant because if we can get that set up, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So hopefully we could find something. Hopefully. <laughs> Are you serious? This isn't Pam's craft. Look at all the new... Oh, well, I, I shouldn't say new. Look at all the farm stuff. And that has nothing to do with Pam's craft. Wait a second. I need seeds. 
I still need seeds. Hold on, I could just start. Uh, hold on, guys, let me just start uh, quickly. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. No, I just I say, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Leave me alone. Let me steal your stuff, please. I'm a humble man. Let me steal it, please. Look, guys, I am a person of humble nature. I am here not for any harm, even though I've already killed like five of you guys. I'm here for all of the seeds for your farm so I can make you guys starve. That's it's. It doesn't sound as bad. Okay, I'll admit it sounds bad when you say it out loud. But, on the positive note, you're all dead already, so at least you're not gonna stop. Okay, you guys are gonna stop. Ah, bitch! You know what, guys? Considering you're so rude and not welcoming your guests, I'm actually gonna let you starve now. I was gonna leave some, but you know what? No, you know what now? Yeah, now? Nah. You guys can get stuffed. I'm stealing everything. Come on, come on, please. I don't think so. I don't... Uh, in all honesty, this could still be an area that has been explored. Okay, um, I'm assuming this is just an area that's been explored because the farms don't look any different. Oh, bugger me backwards. Okay, yeah, let's let's just keep moving. I'm gonna have to... Uh, you know what? While I'm flying, I might Google this because I can literally just keep flying. I'm not holding the keyboard or anything currently. So I might quickly Google this. Oh, crap. I, I can't do that though. Look, I'll admit, I'm very stubborn. I didn't Google anything, but I just saw this. The market. Um, and shipping bin... Do we do we order it? Do I order food from overseas? Is, is that what we're gonna do now? Um, okay... Okay, I could, I, could, I could do that. Hold on. Oh, hold on. A village. You know what? I'm going to check this village quickly. And then if not, um, we're going to have to, we're going to see if we can maybe ship some <laughs> from somewhere. God damn it. Okay, if that's the case, we are definitely going to have to order some. I think I have enough. Er I need only one emerald. I'm pretty sure I have that. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just turn around and see if we actually need the, may we might only need to make the market. And if so, I mean, I'll check here quickly. I'm not seeing anything though. And there's a dragon, so I'm not going to check there again. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go home. And hopefully the market's all we need. Okay, so I need some wool and then some planks. Does it need to be birch? I'm just seeing birch. Does it actually need to be birch? I think it might just need to be wooden planks. That's that's fine. Planks. I think actually do I have birch? Yo, okay. <laughs> Sick. And then we need some wool. And hopefully that is all we need. Of course, there's no wool in the freaking chest tray. You keep it downstairs. There we go. Okay, we've got ourselves a market. Uh, I guess for now we'll just prop a little plonk it here. And oh! Oh! Cabbage! Oh my god! Okay, we need. We have, wait. We have emeralds. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god! This is like this is amazing. Okay, cabbage seed. Bye. Oh yes. Okay, we'll start off with. I think for now, ten cabbages is plenty. No, dude. Oh my god! There's so many different things. Oh yo, cactus fruit. Oh wait, cactus fruit. Oh, could we sell cactus juice? Hold on. And cactus soup. We can make cactus soup. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, I'm getting distracted. We've got cabbages. That's what we needed. So I'm thinking, considering now we can actually set up this cabbage farm, I want to have it next to a windmill, because that way we can actually power all of the farm in this section. Oh, oh, okay. What windmill do I want it to be on, though? Part oh, okay. No, I know exactly which one I want it to be on. I want it to be here. Yes, yes, this farm right here. Oh, this would be so cool. Okay, so let's set it up over here, and I'm assuming this will be a good spot, so plonk it there. Look at that perfect spot. Oh, yo. Okay. All right. Yes, that's powering it. Now, all I need to do is actually make a system underground. We still need to make this stupid underground freaking talk channel system to actually get all this to work. But for now, I'm just going to set this one thing up and go from there because it's going to be way too much effort actually trying to get this all properly lined up and everything. I'm just going to do it this way. That way I can be somewhat more comfortable with it. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. But I have set up enough of these things now where I actually think I somewhat know what I'm doing. So hopefully this should work. If I now set that there, good. And then connect that there all the way up. Hold the phone. Okay. So now we do that. Oh my God. Uh, where? Wait, where is it? Oh, Oh, hold up. Have I actually already set it up? Yo, there's, wait, is there, oh no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Is there actually power going into it? Let's have a quick look. Oh, I'm hearing it. Yo, yes, 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 yes. And then we give it some bone meal. Look, cabbages, cabbages. Yes, yes. <laughs> we have cabbages. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that is awesome. I've never been so excited over a frick. Is it a fruit? Is it a no, it's a vegetable. What am I talking about? It's a vegetable, isn't it? Yes, yes, Troy, it's a vegetable. There we go. We have actually set up our first farm. 
Oh, yo, okay, I I'm thinking what we should do is make this whole top layer actually be cabbages. That way it kind of blends into the area. Because I'm pretty sure if I click F... Uh-oh, not that button. <laughs> Maybe F12? Th there's a button. Maybe it was F8. There we go. If I click F8, as you can see, it actually hides the line. So it can technically blend in really well. Or if I really wanted to, I could actually upgrade this and make the farm cover more area. But in all honesty, I feel like that would be plenty. I mean, look how many cabbages we already have. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, do they even stack? But there we go. Now that we have that set up, oh, bro, we should get... Okay, I already know what I'm going to do for the cabbage merchant. Like, I already know. I have three chest carts, which pretty much are the closest thing we can get to an actual food stand. Unless, hold on. Is there actually like a food stand? I doubt it, right? Hold on. So if we go food, uh, it's there. Stand... I'm not seeing one quickly, so we should be fine. I hope. I'm going to search just in case. Is there a cart? No, wait. Hold on. What's this? What's this? Block of gold. No. Sick. That's fine. So we have these three carts, which we can fill with actual items, meaning we can fill them with cabbages. And I've got these three soldiers who might just <laughs> so happen to look like... Oh, crap. Cabbage. Oh, wait. Why kind of... I've called him Cabbage Man... God damn it, repack, whatever, we'll figure that out later on, but I have three of those, because, you know, he does show up randomly throughout all of the series, but I feel like there are just multiple of him, like, there's no way he could be traveling so fast, at least not with all those cabbages, even though Aang does destroy them all, it, there's got to be another thing to it, I think he might have twin brothers, so we've got three cabbage men that we're going to set up around Butter Sing Say, along with the carriages and the actual things, and hopefully, I think we can make it so NPCs will be able to grab the cabbages from the actual food cart and take them to everyone around Butter Sing Say. So technically, people in Butter Sing Say can live off cabbages, which I think sounds terrible because I don't think they're actually a good feeding. How good are they? Hold on, let's actually quickly test this out. Okay, if I'm dying, would a cabbage save me? How much does it do? It does half, half a, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. These carts, in all, in all honesty, these carts might just be there for show. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna go for our whole cabbage supply, just to... Oh my god. Yep, this thing's gonna just be for show, isn't it? There we go, so now he should, hopefully, you should stop following me and go protect your cabbage cart, because you should always be there. You don't need to go anywhere else. So now we actually have a cabbage merchant. <laughs> there we go. How do I open this? How do I open you? Is there a way to open it? There we go, and now I can just... Oh no, I've already given all the cabbages away. Let's go grab some and just fill up that thing with cabbages. It ain't much, but let's quickly chuck these cabbages in there. Yo, <laughs> that is great. Hold on, stats, cuts, it's level two. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, is there a way I can actually make him so he pushes it around? Ah, damn it. It doesn't seem like there is a way to do it. So I'm just going to call him Cabbage Man. I don't think we can have spaces. So there we go. Cabbage Man. Maybe if I do just to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Cabbage Man. Sick. Cabbage Man is all set up. We have one Cabbage Merchant. We'll probably have a potato. You know, baked potatoes are pretty much my food source. So we might make that the other carts ones. I don't think they can grab food from those carts, though, so they're literally just going to be scared. In, in all honesty, actually, we should probably just make them all cabbages. There we go. Another cabbage man set up. Let's go. Cabbage man. Just so... We can keep the same name. People just fly around and go, man, he's quick. He's moving so fast. But there we go. He's got some cabbages in there, and he goes to the food source, which is in here, where all the soldiers go as well. There we go. Another cabbage man has been set up. Oh, man. What a stupid thing, but I'm so happy it's done now. Oh, yo. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So we have three cabbage merchants in Butter Sing Say, and that's probably where we're going to leave it for the cabbages. They they aren't that good. They aren't really that good, and that was it's all really for a joke, but you guys have been asking for it for so long, and in all honesty, I really want to do it as well, so I, I can't blame you guys, but still, <laughs> there we go. Now that that's done... Let's actually move on to the important thing we should probably do in this video. We actually started setting up what I wanted to do in this video right here with this thing, but I actually want to, for the most part, get a system set up at each one of these things where people can come and farm. So I wanna have a farm at every single windmill pretty much that's gonna be powered by that windmill. And then we'll have some other farms scattered throughout like some over here and some further along and just hidden throughout different places that will be powered by the windmill. So what we gotta do now is create a few different things because we need food. Butter Sing Say needs food. That is the main concern with it because we run out of food so quickly. I think that is it, right? So that's powering it all the way across. That should be now powering this farm, which it is. Let's go. Yes. Oh, crap. I mean, it has no water, so it's kind of struggling with that aspect. But hey, 
That's still, that's still technically working. All right, now I just need to power this one. I found an easier way to do it. It's literally just pretty much do this. <laughs> and then you can just go from here and then have to find your way from it. So let's just go this way. And then I, oh, there's a cave there. Okay. And then I, crap, then I, I'm just loving how much more I'm starting to understand this stuff. You can't do it so you're placing it this way off the thing. You have to place it in the way you're going, which confused me so much at first. But now that I get that, boom, up. Uh, Okay, maybe I have to take back exactly what I just said. God damn it. Ah, oh, I've encountered a bit of a doozy. Ah, uh, what the? Why is it? Ah, uh, do I need a different thing? I have a distributor. Does, is that what I Is that what I needed? I needed two. Okay, so a distributor goes in multiple directions. Is that how it works? No, no. Wait, is it not connected at the top now? Ah, oh, god damn it. I thought I had it. I was literally just hyping up how I actually understood these things. God damn it. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, Jojo. Jojo. Wait, that, what? No, um, is this? No, that's still not doing anything. Oh my god, what am I doing? I have no clue. Junction connects there, but it doesn't connect to the other one. Ah, oh, god damn it. I feel like I'm trying to do some, like, super IQ things right now. Hold up, okay. So that's done that, and then this, does this do that? Yes, okay. <laughs> my head, my head actually got hurt from that, so now... That connects to there. Okay, I literally just typed up how I actually kind of knew what I was doing. Oh, god damn it, bro. God damn it. So then that connects to that. Then this connects to this. And there! Yes! I found a way around it. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Okay, and then that connects to that. Bro, I am a genius at once more. I have not lost my IQs. Please let me through. No. Don't. Don't. Don't tell. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. No, 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 there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, if I do it there, there's, game, 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 it's not, why isn't it connected, look, look at this crap, look at this bull, god Damn it! I'm giving myself the hiccups with how much this is affecting me. I hate this. I absolutely hate this thing. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. How do I make it so I could split it in multiple directions? Surely that's a thing. I swear I've done that. I hate this. I hate this. Why can't I get it? All I should have to do is grab a... Is it a distributor? Have... Are you serious? <laughs> Is that actually it? Is that... Is that... That's it. Oh... Yeah! Let's go! We did it! I'm not mad! I'm not mad! What do you want about? Oh... <laughs> oh. Woo! Whatever. You know what? That's fine. We now have two of these farms set up. Time... For me to do it at every freaking windmill. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... No, I'm just gonna cut this bit. I was giving myself a freaking migraine with that one. I'm just... I'm just gonna cut this bit, because god diddly dang it, bro. I am in so much... I... You know what? You guys, I had a migraine before. Now, I feel like my head has been chopped off, put on a plate, given to the priest, and he's told me, hey, I should sprinkle some holy water on this wound. It gets very graphic from there. I'm in a lot of pain. That's... <laughs> let's just say that. Oh, God, you guys don't know what I've been through for the last two hours. I don't know what happened, but I did something, and the game didn't like it, so it crashed. So what did I have to do? I had to update the Ancient Warfare mod. Now, oh, Troy, that sounds like a good thing. Yes, it does. I agree with you with the fact that there was a bug causing me not to be able to update it, meaning I had to do more. I'm sorry. I got a bit out of hand then. Long story short, we have updated the Ancient Warfare mod, meaning AI improvements, some new things... And yes, <laughs> it's working now. Ah, oh, that... <laughs> God damn it, boy. Okay, I should say we have actually finished off all of the actual... Uh, what are they called? The windmills. But the problem is, because I'm still fixing a lot of the kinks with the server, we sadly have actually lost the Cora plugin. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'll fix it eventually. <laughs> but for now, we don't have the Cora plugin. But every windmill should 
for the most part, have a farm set up at it. So that is done. I'm so annoyed because I would end the video here, but we, we have not done enough. We haven't done enough yet. I still have that dragon egg down where the dairy are staying currently. And I want to actually hatch that dragon and make it grow a little bit just to have it look like we have a captured dragon down there. Because I know you guys told me to get a flying bison and kind of make it look like it's, you know, Arpa from that episode. But I feel like that's a bit cruel. And considering I'm going to make Ang's like f like Ang Zhu next episode, I feel like it's very it's very bad for us to do that. It would be like the worst timing. So instead, we're probably not going to do that, and we're just going to actually make this dragon be it instead. So we'll have probably a nice area here, or maybe here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what I'm going to do now is actually we haven't done one, we haven't done one for a while. Let's actually jump in to a time lapse of me building this area and setting up this dragon. Never mind. I just tried figuring out how to get replay mod to work and for some reason it's not working. So, uh, instead we're going to do a magic trick. Uh, boom, bam, bop. I've got a awfully large, um, ego. And, you know, <laughs> let's go and, uh, skadoosh. There we go. This is now all complete. This is our little capture zone. I don't want to call it anything worse than that, but this is, I'm pretty sure, a decent enough version of what you can pretty much see in Avatar. I'm happy enough with how it came out. It's it's made from the exact same things the rest of the things made from, except for this. This is actually, I think, um, was it gravel? It's something, it's, it's pretty much stone. <laughs> it's more stone. It's just a slightly different color to actually make this room work a lot more. So now what we got to do is actually hatch the dragon egg, which is kind of weird to say out loud. We're actually going to hatch a dragon egg. That's weird. How do we even hatch the blue dragon? I don't even know how to hatch a dragon. I haven't had to do that this series. Okay, it's relatively easy. I just need some water and some ice. All right. Um, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. I can get water and ice. My supply should hopefully be open. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go. Wait, are you guys... Are you already out of... I gave you cabbages and you're already out. God damn it. All right, fine. Whatever. I don't care anyway. Let's go to Alex's base. I need to grab a bucket and stuff. Let's go to Alex's base and actually grab some more snowballs. Some... Wait, no, that's snow. How do I get ice? I'm either going to look like an absolute idiot here or it's actually going to seem like I'm smart. Do I use... Do I use silk touch? Do I... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm an absolute idiot. Okay, Kingdom of Ice. Uh, let's just uh, borrow. So, no, I'm not going <laughs> to... Imagine if I did that. That'd be so dog. All right, let's go quickly grab some. Uh, do I have my bending set? Do I actually don't have my bending set. Oh, is, it, is that all I do? Am I doing this right? Silk touch? Yes, that's packed ice, but I'm pretty sure. Wait, can I use that to make ice? No, I, I'm pretty sure packed ice will work as well, right? Now, I don't quite remember the sizes of these dragons, but I don't think they're that big that it's going to take up a whole area. So we should actually be able to like... I, I just realized saying that we should be able to grow it down in the actual dungeon... Makes it sound like it's going to live its whole life in slavery. Which, technically, it is. Just remember, this isn't my dragon. <laughs> like, it's not mine. I'm not doing this to my own dragon. This is Ren's dragon. <laughs> that, I don't know if that makes it any better, to be honest. Oh, I don't think it makes it any better. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's quickly do this. So, I'm pretty sure all it is, is... I'm just going to also do this so I can actually make an infinite water source. Surround water with ice. So I just grab some water. No, grab some water. Put that in. Put that in there. And then I should be able to get the dragon egg. And boom. There we go. Yo, we did it. Sick. And now I just wait. I think that's it, right? Now I just wait it out. And uh, hopefully the dragon. Uh, hope. Hopefully, hopefully the dra- Oh, God damn it. But hopefully the dragon will actually show up. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh. Please tell me that was meant to happen. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I really hope that was meant to happen. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, sit up here <laughs> and watch it. I'm, oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Hey, buddy. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Best friends forever. Oh, my God. Uh, you're hungry. Oh, no. I'm not a parent. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, hey. Oh, no, don't go over there. Don't go around. Don't, don't. That's scary. You're scary. You're scary. I don't know how I feel about you. Let's just do this for now. Hey, let's just do that. No, why do you? Why can I not put the chain? Oh, no. Where'd the chain go? Oh, why is so many things happening currently? Oh, crap. This should help deal with the problem for a little. There we go. But like I was saying, I was thinking while I was waiting for that, why don't I just go and get a normal dragon and turn it to stone? It's a lot easier. I actually don't feel bad. And well... Yeah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> that, and it will also stay here. Because I realized right above this is the actual AFK fishing farm. 
which already has a, I think it's a chunk loader, and because it's right next to it, meaning the dragon would grow, and I know these things can get pretty big, and I don't think it would fit in here fully grown. So for now, I think what we'll do is actually set up a chest in here, put the dragon in here, so technically the dragon is in this room, like so, so chuck the dragon in there just like that, and what we're going to do is go and quickly use one of my Medusa heads, because I have two, and we're going to go get a dragon quickly and just plonk its statue in there. Please work, please work, please work. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I, <don't>, I, <laughs> I did not like that. Go away, go away. No, hold up our airbending set, please. There we go. I did not like that, but there we go. We now have a statue, and I think I can harvest it with with this pick. Efficiency, or do I need silk touch? Can I harvest can I harvest it with the shovel? Oh, this is a dumb idea. Why am I trying to do this? There we go. So I just added silk touch to the pickaxe. It cost 35 XP, but oh, I'm pretty sure if we keep hitting it. It will, yes, there we go. We have a stone statue of a fire dragon. Let's go. But now all I should have to do is just plonk. Oh. Oh, there we go! There it is! There is our stone dragon that we are keeping captive down here, with the actual dragon being in that chest. So technically, we are keeping a dragon captive down here, it's just this is the display version and that is the actual dragon. So there we go guys, that is actually where I'm going to end this video. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to click that thumbs up button, because every single time you guys thumbs up, it really motivates me and wants me to get the next one even quicker out for you guys like god it i don't know what it is you guys just really get me motivated when whenever you like or subscribe which you may as well do as well the button's right there and it's free anyway guys my name is troy i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next video see you guys